Well, hello again, folks. Today's song is uh, a song that I've sang for many years, and uh, those of you who follow me regularly uh, will, uh, will 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 know this song well. And it takes us down to the villages of Newton Moor and King Ucy, almost smack bang in the the middle of Scotland, and uh, the centre, the epicentre of the shinty world. Shinty is a fantastic sport played in the in the north and west. Of, uh, of Scotland and there's a, a real rivalry between the two villages of Newton Moor and King Easy. Some would say friendly rivalry, that may well be the case for 363 days of the year but there's a couple of days a year when they play each other when uh, it's maybe not quite so friendly. But this song sort of brings the two villages together and uh, it was written by a great friend of mine called Michael Sharp, uh, lives in Lagan just outside Newton Moor and the song is called Jock Paul's Bike. Now, we wrote this song after an incident in uh, the village of Newton Moor back in the late 1970s. The village woke up to find that it had been uh, been, been vandalised or, 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 or spray-painted uh, graffiti all over the place. And it was a prank by the then King Easy captain, Sandy Day. He painted King Easy colours on the village hall doors, the, the gates to the Aylan Shinty Field, the goalposts, the corner flags, and worst of all, poor old Jock Paul McIntosh's bicycle was now sporting a King Ucy livery of red and blue instead of Newton Moore's blue and white. Well, this is about Jock Paul trying to get his bike back the way it should be, blue and white. This is Jock Paul's bike. Some of you might recognise the tune of this song. That's because a couple of guys stole it from Michael Sharp and called it Matchstock Men and Matchstock Cats and Dogs. Believe that and you believe anything. This is Chuck Paul's mate. With big row sets and coloured scarves, they go to watch their favourite stars. They all look forward to the Saturdays. There's one young man walks down our street with rubber boots upon his feet and a dress all kind of Painted Joe Paul's way to the doors of the village hall. He painted the goalpost card of the legs of the ships he bought. Now he sits with his paints and he waits outside the game of gates. He painted Joe Paul's way to the doors of the village hall. Well, he paints his name all over town. Being a circus clown, but he's an animal, that's what they say. He comes from the Highland Wildlife Park, he cannot speak, just gives a bark, which you know his name is Sandy Day. And he painted Jock Paul's bike the doors of the village hall. He painted the goalpost for the blacks of the Shinty Ball. Now he sits with his paints and he waits outside the Halen. Painted red and blue, but not his favourite colours as we all know. He'd rather it be white and blue, but then again, what can you do? So look at Sandy Day, he's after you. And he painted Chuck Paul's bike to the doors of the village hall. He painted the goalpost part of the legs of the Shinty Ball. Now he sits with his paints and he waits. Outside the Nailing Gates, he painted Jock Paul's bike and the doors of the village hall. So he went and bought another can, and then he gave it to your man. He said, Go back and paint it properly. I want it painted blue and white, so Daisy splashed it left to right. Jock said, No, just stroke it gently. And he painted Jock Paul's bike in the doors of the village hall. He painted the goalpost corner of the legs and the shinty ball. Now he sits with his paints and he waits outside the Galen gates. He painted Jock Paul's bike in the doors of the village hall. And he painted Jock Paul's bike in the doors of the village hall. He 
painted the goalpost, corner flags, and the shinty ball. Now he sits with his face and he waits outside the tailor's gates. He painted shop balls, bike, and the doors in the village hall. And he painted shop balls, bike, and the doors in the village hall. Yes, he painted shop balls, bike, and the doors in the village hall. Yep. Thank you very much, everybody. That was Jock Paul's bike. Thank you.